Hello and welcome back to Fallout 76. Once again, it's time to spend some legendary modules and today we are going to be rolling Elder's Marks. This has been on my to-do list for a while, but it took me a bit to get enough to roll. I have eight Elder's Marks and I plan to do a hundred modules. So I'm going to do 25 crafts. So we'll be doing uh, each one of these three times, probably depend on, depending on the rolls that we get. And I'm going to be hoping for something good unlike my past videos. For those that don't know, the Elder's Mark is actually a unique named weapon. It comes from the event, the event Beasts of Burden. Uh, in addition to being, uh, what is it, Furious, faster weapon speed, faster reload speed. It has a couple of hidden, three hidden effects actually. It does more damage, I believe it's 20%. It has faster fire rate, a hidden faster fire rate on top of what you already see. And it uh, wears out 50% faster. So you can actually reroll these and keep the hidden effects. So that's what we're going to do. Keep the hidden effects and hope to improve on the, uh, the primary ones. All right, here we go. Number one, we have uh, Junkies last round weapon breaks slower. Well, weapon breaks slower would offset the, uh, the cursed effect of breaking faster. So there's that. But overall, this is not something I'm interested in. All right, here we go. The next one is, uh, let's see. Aristocrats. Ooh, I like Aristocrats. That's a good effect. Bash damage. Not such a fan of that. And a Stealth Field. Not a fan of that. Well, I like the first effect at least, but yeah, we're going to move on. All right. The third time. I think it's the third one. We are at Nocturnal with Bash damage again and Critical Charge. Well, yeah. I don't mind the Critical Charge, but the other two effects, not so much. Moving on. And this time around, we are going to get uh, Juggernauts. Don't love Juggernauts, but uh, replenish AP with each kill, plus one perception. Yeah, I'm not a fan of Juggernauts just in general. I think it doesn't give enough of a bonus for, for how easily it goes away. Replenish AP with each kill is okay. That's actually not a bad effect. Plus one perception. Uh, in theory, it adds vac VAT's accuracy, but I think you really get diminishing returns on that. So uh, this is a pass. And the next one is Juggernauts again. Limb damage and breaks slower. Limb damage, not crazy about that on, I'm not, I'm not tend to be, uh, I'm not trying to cripple with these, I'm trying to kill, so limb damage, not so great. Break slower, eh, <laughs> not that exciting. Uh, I do, I do like the fact that we're getting primary rolls that are increasing damage though, so there is hope. Uh, okay, here we go, next one. Damage increases as health increases, another, ugh, we're stuck on juggernauts, I wish we would not be stuck on juggernauts. Uh, last round, I think last round is a trash effect. 15% uh, faster reload, that's fine, although submachine guns tend to have a pretty quick reload anyway, so I don't think you're going to see a huge benefit with that. I believe we're on number 7, and it is... Oh, okay. <laughs> damage to Scorch, Bash damage, and reduced weight. Uh, I would pass on all of those effects. And the next one is... Uh, executioners uh, with critical damage and damage resist while reloading. Well, executioners is, I think that's a good effect. Uh, it's definitely a good effect on legendary enemies now that we only have one health bar. So yeah, that's a pretty desirable effect. Critical damage, love that. That's my favorite second star. And damage resistance while reloading, I think that's pretty useless. But the first two effects are, are good. I would say of the ones we've rolled so far, this is my favorite. All right, well, we've rolled all of them once, and now we are going back over. So we are going to re-roll that first Junkies one that we got, and it is going to be... Oh, 50% damage to animals. Not something we need. Last round, trash effect. Stealth field, I also think is a trash effect. So this is overall a bunch of trash. And let's uh, re-roll one of the mini Juggernauts that we've gotten. Damage increases as I fill my hunger and thirst meters. Okay, so Gourmands. I actually prefer Gourmands to Juggernauts just because it's not like you're going to lose your, you know, your your meter, your hunger and thirst meter are not just going to drop all of a sudden during a fight like Juggernauts can with your health. So I would actually rather have this. Weapon speed. I'm actually not a fan of weapon speed on this particular gun. Uh, Submachine gun has a decent fire rate and it has a hidden faster fire rate already. And what I found is when you stack this, uh, you know, another another fire rate on top, that sometimes the server can't keep up and you end up firing extra rounds that you don't need to. So overall, I'm not a fan of this. All right, let's re-roll this Nocturnal and see what we can turn it into. Hopefully something better. Uh, troubleshooters, eh. Again, it's kind of enemy specific, which I'm generally not a fan of. 
Uh, bash damage, nope. Faster movement speed while aiming, again, no. So, yeah, overall, no. And another Juggernauts. We're going to get rid of, hopefully. We've got uh, Mutants. Okay, I actually would, would prefer... Uh, I prefer mutants to a lot of other effects just because you're not going to use your, uh, lose your mutations. So holding on to that maximum gain of 25%, pretty easy. Uh, Vats hit chance, now that it's working again, at least I think it's working again, uh, that's actually a good effect. And reduce weight, uh, I don't care for. But overall, this is, this is okay. Not my favorite, but not the worst. Time to get rid of another Juggernauts. That's what this is. Yep, Juggernauts. And we have damage increases up to 24. Okay, so this is a Gourmand's. So, almost the same amount of extra damage. Bash damage, nope. Damage while aiming, nope. Overall, this is a nope. And another Juggernauts. God, we rolled a lot of Juggernauts once. Okay, here we go. Let's get rid of this one as well. Replace it with Anti-Armor, Replenish AP with each kill, and Reload Speed. Uh, yeah, this I actually like. I mean, I like Anti-Armor. It's one of my favorite effects. Replenish AP with each kill. I like that as well. Uh, anything that can refill your, your AP is good. Reload speed, don't really need it with this, but again, won't say no. So this is actually okay. All right, well, we don't need extra damage to Scorch, so let's reroll this. And we have Furious, which is what, uh, that's kind of the default primary effect on this. Exploding bullets, though, that's, that's okay. I'm not a big fan of that, but that is a good effect. I just, that's just not for me, usually. Uh, damage resistance while, re while aiming, that's useless because I usually will play this with VATS. Overall, I'd probably discard this one. In fact, Furious and Explosive, that's a bad combination. Just because of splash damage, it's really easy to reset the Furious effect. So, yeah, Furious Explosive, just say no. All right, let's reroll this Hunters and see if we can get something. Well, we can't get something worse. So, hopefully we can get something better. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it is actually better. It's, it's not much better, but... Uh, so we have uh, damage to Insects and Myrlurks. Don't care about that. Vat's hit chance is good, and Vat's critical charge is good. So second and third stars are good, but the first star kind of ruins it. And we have, this is a Gourmands. We're going to re-roll this Gourmands. And we will get uh, Suppressors, Bash Damage, Reduce Weight, 100% uh, Trash. All right, we are going to get rid of this Troubleshooters next. And it is going to be, what? Nocturnal Weapon Speed and Stealth Field. Nocturnal, I'm I'm not really a fan of that because it's good half the time, so that's not great. I've already talked about weapon speed, why I don't like it on this particular weapon. Uh, stealth field, useless. So overall, pass. And we have another Gourmands to re-roll, so let's do that now. Junkies with critical damage and plus one agility. This is actually pretty good. As you can see, my current bonus for Junkies would be zero because I don't have any addictions. So in theory, this could be good, but I don't play Junkies, and I like critical damage. So if I was playing Junkies, I'd be pretty happy with this. I'm not playing Junkies, so I'm not. All right, let's get let's uh, let's redo this Furious Explosive, get something better. Damage to animals, well, we still we kept the Explosive, but uh, yeah, damage to animals, not so useful. Plus one agility, not crazy useful. Overall, next. All right, let's reroll this Exterminator. I think we're at uh, five more, five more, four more. Five, I think we're at five more rolls. So let's do, uh, let's redo this one. Damage it. Junkies, explosive perception. Well, I've already talked about junkies. Yeah, so this is going to be a pass. I don't have any addiction, so it's not useful to me at all. We've got to reroll the suppressors because suppressors is pointless. We've got, uh, interesting. Okay, so we've got damage increases. Okay, so another juggernauts with sweet weapon speed, perception. Not a fan of any of this. All right, we're gonna roll the Nocturnal this time. And we have Ghoul Slayers. First time we've seen that, last round. Stealth Field, eh, big pile of junk. Okay, time to re-roll one of the Junkies. And we've got Mutant Slayers with Critical Damage and Stealth Field. Well, I like the Critical Damage, but the other two stars make this one a no-go. And this will be the last roll, so we're going to re-roll this uh, Damage to Animals one, this Hunters. And we will replace it with this. Uh, let's see. Gourmands, Weapon Speed, and Stealth Field. Nah. Eh. <laughs> so of the ones I rolled, I actually got some that I would use. Uh, this would probably be my top choice. It would be the uh, Executioners with uh, extra critical damage. That third star is useless, but the first two stars are good. So this would probably be my top choice. 
I also really like this one as well. Anti-armor, replenish AP on kill, faster reload. Uh, this It's going to be neck and neck. It's probably going to be either this one or the executioners that I would use, I think. And we're going to give this one an honorable mention. Uh, this is uh, mutants, so 25% or up to 25% with mutations, and I am getting the max bonus. Uh, with Vat's hit chance and reduced weight. And there you have it, a bunch of Elder Mark rolls. Uh, this isn't the worst one I've done. <laughs> I actually got some stuff that was actually pretty good. I didn't get anything amazing, but I got some stuff that'll serve me pretty well, at least until I can roll something amazing. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit one of the buttons down below, and I hope you'll join me in the next one. Thank you very much.